All right, guys, so we are at Artem Capital here in Dubai, and we have a very special guest today. I'm here with Nicholas, and we're going to be talking about getting a second passport and also getting multiple residents. Uh, Nicholas, great to have you here. Thank you for visiting the office in Dubai. Thank you very much. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about Artem Capital and, and what you do? So Artem Capital is a citizenship and residency by investment company. We're pioneers in the field of uh, residency and citizenship. We have 17 offices worldwide, multicultural team. Uh, we focus on uh, facilitating investment uh, opportunities for our clients through real estate, bonds, and even uh, under uh, development uh, projects. Yeah. Now, what, what's the reason that someone would want to get a, a second passport? So you have different factors. You have uh, first uh, the mobility, there is the security, and there is the educational part for the future of your children and family. You have tax. Some countries like uh, provides taxes that are lower than other countries depending on the type of the investment or business setup. What would you say are the most uh, popular three second passports that uh, most of your clients would get? So most of our clients get the Caribbean uh, citizenship by investment passport first because it takes less time to to have it like around six to eight months mm -hmm. maybe we have five islands mm -hmm. which are Grenada, St. Lucia, St. Kitts, Antigua and Barbuda mm -hmm. and uh, Dominica. What if someone came to you and they said look I want to get a second passport and I want to do it as fast as possible and for as cheap as possible. And I'm not necessarily interested in investing in the real estate, I just want the passport. Which country would you recommend? Right now in the market, St. Lucia uh -huh. or Dominica. Okay. For a single applicant. Yeah. And it's the fastest, it's around six to eight months. And so let, let's focus on say St. Lucia. So St. Lucia, you send six to eight months. What's the kind of donation that you've got to make to the government there or how does that work? So the donation is a hundred thousand US dollars. Most of the Caribbean are are uh, effective in this way. They they use the contribution and donations to their economy or to their government, mm -hmm. and those uh, get you a fast passport and even an access to the Schengen area or the UK. So with the Saint Lucia passport, where can I travel to? Around one hundred and thirty four countries including all of Europe, the UK. So these are maybe clients from countries where they don't have that, you know, passport where they can get to a lot of countries. It's quite restrictive. And you were saying they can go to 130 different countries with this passport. Exactly. So you can have access even to China, to South of Africa, mm -hmm. to uh, some of Latin American countries. So there is even the real estate option, mm -hmm. which is investing into uh, hotel resorts or suites or like in the luxury side of those islands. Okay, and you can do that in St. Lucia? In the five islands, you can do this. Okay, let's say I want to do that. I want to invest in the real estate because maybe I want to travel there and stay there, enjoy it a little bit. Uh, what's the minimum for the real estate? You're looking at the 300,000 USD minimum investment. And is that any real estate or it's got to be approved by the Approved by the government. So usually mm -hmm. we act as a Panadol solution for our customers. Mm -hmm. We don't let them go and have the uh, hassle to even buy the property, rent the property, uh, do the residency or bank account or all the, the process. So we facilitate it. We have this high value uh, service, which we provide with, for, for our fees, the uh, lawyer fees, processing fees, due diligence fees. Yeah. We do everything from A to Z. What kind of criteria would you look through when you're looking at these different real estate projects? Uh, this is a very interesting question because uh, most of uh, people used to ask uh, why should I work with art and capital and not with somebody else. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you go on the government side of each uh, Caribbean uh, countries or each government uh, yep. uh, website, you can see that we are authorized agent to, to work on those investment or 
process like program authorized by those governments uh, yes and some of the governments we are even marketing agents for them second of all you have to choose a, a project that is approved by the government mm -hmm. and that has a minimum maybe 25 plus track record of, uh, of developing uh, hotels and resorts so they have to own a big portfolio mm -hmm. and not only in one country but across the world so we we work uh, uh, in, a, in a close matter with our partners and uh, securing the best type of investment for our clients we have you till the end and everything is in the cfa and our agreements you said about three hundred thousand dollars for the for the real estate law if your client's goal is to like they come into it saying look i don't have to make a really high return i don't want to have a big risk i just want to try and get as much of that 300k back as possible is there the possibility of uh selling that real estate five years down the track and recovering most of that so uh, for the investment part in the caribbean island mm -hmm. usually it's hard to resell it in the secondary markets it's hard to find another investor since it's a niche uh, market so if you want to sell it you can sell it to someone who is applying for the program and wants the minimum investment yeah so uh, for people that are looking for plans like uh, the buyback plan uh -huh. or even a return or a guaranteed return yearly uh -huh. uh, something between two or five percent uh, annually you can uh, go through uh, other program like the portuguese uh, uh, golden visa program which leads you to the citizenship as the only country in europe that grants this uh, without you residing physically there uh -huh. uh, there is the greek program which give you an appreciation of 15 to 16 percent annually on the real estate so you guys do a lot of different countries you mentioned five islands in the caribbean greece portugal malta and recently uh, the freshest program we have is hungary let's say that someone's got a family they've got a couple kids and they they want to get this second passport not just for them but yeah. also for their their wife their children do any of these countries offer like discounts for families where you can get a better deal? And Sure. We have a program which is Antigua and Barbuda. Mm -hmm. It's a, for a family of six and mm -hmm. above, which is an investment, uh, a contribution, donation mm -hmm. to a university in Antigua. Mm -hmm. And it's the lowest, uh, if you want, uh, contribution in the Caribbean to, to get the citizenship. There. Yeah, how much is that one? It's uh, one hundred and seventy thousand. And then, how does it work for the generations? Once you have the passport, does that mean if you have your children, does it have to be in that country or abroad? Can the children then get the? Yes, of course. It's uh, it's you can inherit the passport. Uh huh. So if someone's watching this and they're thinking, okay, this sounds pretty good. I want to get my second passport. Um, what is the step-by-step -step process for working with you guys? What's it look like? So first of all, uh, we generate an offer. We ask what is his need? Is he looking for a long-term or a short-term plan? Uh -huh. And if he's looking for an investment into real estate or he's looking for a donation and something fast to obtain it. Uh -huh. So once we generate those offers, we ask for copies of passport mm -hmm. and they have to fill a basic KYC that we provide. Then we run a due diligence from our side, which takes around two days. And once it, it is approved, uh, we start the collection of the documents. Then the investment type is uh, met. So the due date is met to do and purchase or the real estate or do the donation to the government or even invest investment into funds. Yeah. So once we do this investment, then you have around four to three months even to get the residency or even the passport. Basically, our process is very, very uh, structured, mm -hmm. straightforward. A case officer selected to each client and even we have a diversity of language in our team so 
it's much easier if you want to qualify or even select someone for different uh, uh, clients. Yeah. Usually from our side, like once we run the due diligence, mm -hmm. 95% of our uh, clients are approved. The first uh, priority of, of our CEO and founder, Mr. Armand Arten, mm -hmm. is uh, to have a reputation in the market. Mm -hmm. And even uh, a name, like he built this name just to stay, if you want, uh, in the high mm -hmm. class and even in the best way possible mm -hmm. to provide the high value uh, and high net worth people uh, the yeah. best uh, service that is in the market right now. Are most of your clients high net worth people and they're coming because they want to have a backup plan, they want to have the most tax efficient you know asset structure or do you get people from kind of all walks of life most of them are middle class and high net worth class uh -huh. yeah so there might be countries out there that just have better medical better education it's not just reasons of uh tax efficiency or as a backup plan it could be people get a second passport just for better opportunities for them and their family, right? For sure. Do you get a lot of clients from countries like Australia and the USA, or is it more from countries where they're restricted on their travel? So now we're seeing a trend in the US, US citizen that wants to move UK uh -huh. since the Brexit happened. And uh, we've seen a rush for Russian clients. It's probably a good thing to do if you're thinking about doing it, to do it sooner than later, because who knows your home country, you don't know what's going to happen five years from now. Things can happen. We should understand the needs, first of all, of our uh, client, a long-term plan, short-term plan, budget. So we should really understand the needs before advising them. Mm -hmm. We want to put like many programs and then narrow it down to the best one. Yeah, for that matches, of course, his needs and qualifications. I have a specific question. I don't know if you can add to this one or not. Let's say someone's from the US. There are some countries that want to tax you on your all your worldwide income. If they did want to get a second passport and they don't want to live in the USA, they want to leave the USA and they've got no reason to stay there. Um, how does that work? Are they able to renounce their citizenship in the US or do they have to do that or... How would that work? So you have to renounce for sure the U.S. Uh, citizenship. Uh -huh. And uh, you should even renounce everything that you have in the state in mm -hmm. the U.S. and move everything to a offshore company mm -hmm. and then uh, apply for a second citizenship. You say, so set the business up first before applying for the second passport. Yes. So, and then apply for the second citizenship and uh -huh. renounce the U.S. citizenship. Set the second business up in the country that you're applying for the passport? Yes. Before you renounce? Yes. Okay. Now in Dubai, it's in the UAE, it's 0% mm -hmm. on your income. On worldwide income? Worldwide income. So if you if you live here and you've, you've got a company in, all your customers are overseas, that money comes in, but you're not paying tax on the worldwide income. Yes, you, you won't pay any taxes. I got a question. So when you get this passport, what does that look like? Like, do you have to travel to the country and get it stamped or is it mailed to you? Or what does that look like? Everything's done remotely uh -huh. uh, through our offices. Yep. And uh, there's an interview. Once they approve, uh, they send you the passport in our offices. And we send it here. Yeah. Yep. And then we'll send it to our clients. And uh, for some like Antigua and Barbuda, let's say, you have five days uh, in five years, in a period of five years after uh, obtaining the, res uh, the citizenship to visit. So you need to visit five days. Four or five days? You five days in a period of five years. So you can do each year one day, but yeah, like yeah, yeah. you do five days and uh -huh. then this is the requirement just to have a stamp that you visited the, the island. And that, that's for all the, the countries no, in the Caribbean? or it's just Antigua and Barbuda. Uh-huh. Like St. Kitts, for example, would you have to visit there? No. No? Never? No, every, no everything's remote. Wow. Okay. 
So you would get mailed this passport and then what? It's good to go? You could literally start traveling with it? Yes. Some authorities like countries, they know like uh, oh. the programs, they know that it is a citizenship by investment. Mm -hmm. Maybe they'll ask you a few questions like, why did you get it? Or like something very basic. Is that because it's got no stamps in and it's brand new? It's brand new. Uh -huh. But in the system, uh, in the Interpol system and all the, mm -hmm. if you want, worldwide uh, security systems, uh, you're checked in. You have a dual citizenship right now. Yeah. So you're good to go. You have no worries. So you could fly into one country on one passport, fly out on another passport and rotate. Exactly. Now, there's all these different countries, different passports. Would you say that some are kind of higher status than others? They have a better reputation worldwide? Which passport? The Caribbean ones? Well, for example, out of all the Caribbean passports, would you say there's some that have a better kind of reputation? I cannot uh, put them in a... But you can just research about the oldest Caribbean mm -hmm. islands. Yep. Maybe in terms of reputation, you can see who's the oldest in terms of the program. But in other terms for reputation, I think they all have good ties with uh, Europe and the UK mm -hmm. uh, and the US even. Some of them have good ties with China. So let's say someone's watching this and they're, they're interested in getting that second passport. How would they get in touch with you and start uh, working with you guys? So they can go on the website, official website. It's artincapital.com and they can even read about the programs. So guys, if you are interested in working with Artem Capital, I'll put a link somewhere below this video, but get in touch with them and they can help you with uh, getting a second passport and quite a few other things as well. Uh, that's it. So, Nicholas, thank you very thank much. You for shared it. Thank you. And, uh, guys, hope you got some value out of that. And we'll see you in the next episode.